horrible. That's Florida. That's money is what that is. Skeet's Green Money Magic, bladed jig. It's all about it. They love it here. I think uh, probably one of the most you know, popular baits, you know, the last, you know, how many years now is a bladed jig. And I've won a lot of money on it. I mean, I won the Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit uh, the beginning of 2021, Lake Okeechobee, bladed jig. Um, I won a cup event on a bladed jig, but I never felt like there was the perfect trailer. Uh, so I designed a bait for Berkeley called The Deal. Um, that's it right here. And I wanted, uh, I wanted a bait that was more of a vertical action instead of a, uh, a lot of the baits that were designed for horizontal. So I wanted a bait that was upright more bait fish looking and i used uh if you guys have ever used a pit boss this the swimming action of it's unlike any other creature bait for flipping and pitching and it's been super successful but i so i kind of used the the flappers that are on the pit boss modified them a little bit to put on the back of the the deal and this is the four inch deal there and the the I guess the two, they do, they swim like this, so they counteract each other in the water and just have a completely different swimming action than any other bait that I've ever thrown. And since I've done this bait and fished it on a bladed jig, I've caught way more fish than I've ever caught before. So there's a three inch version, three and a half, and then a four and a half version. Um, you know, this, uh, you know, today we're gonna fish uh, the four and a half version on the back of a bladed jig. Uh, Skeet's Green Money Magic is my favorite color probably hands down uh, it's a great bluegill tilapia bait fish pattern uh, that works well in the back of a jig and you know most of the time i'm going to fish a half ounce bladed jig um, uh, with the deal on it and you know if i'm going to be up north fishing smallmouth smallmouth love bladed jigs so i'll cut the skirt down a little bit shorter make a smaller profile use the three and a half inch the deal on the back so you just get a smaller more compact bait is where if i'm fishing for large mouth i'm typically going to go for uh, a larger profile like this. So I fish a seven, seven foot medium action reese fishing rod. It's more parabolic, so I like that shock absorbency when I'm setting the hook into these fish. Just loads up really well. Uh, if you get too heavy a rod, you'll tend to lose a lot more fish. You know, they come up and jump. The rod doesn't act as a shock absorber uh, as a fish are jumping. So something a little more parabolic. 15 pound trilene fluorocarbon is my go-to line. Most of the time, if I'm fishing super heavy cover or I want the bait to run shallower, uh, I'll fish it on 20 pound and I'm, I'm going to fish in wide open grass flats for uh, you're, you're casting into hydrilla through hydrilla then I'll fish it on 30 pound spider wire uh, just so I can clear it out of the grass and get the fish out of the cover a little bit quicker but for a half ounce uh, you know chatterbait bladed jig whatever you're throwing this is you know this is my go-to bait it's it's called the deal because it is the deal. Donkey Donkey in his trunk. <laughs>